Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I thought I'd show you guys how to make Elsa. Well, I already showed a tutorial on Elsa, this Zoom Zoom. But today I thought I'd show you guys how to make her cake. So this is how it looks like. And I will be showing you guys how to most likely, of course, make this on this Zoom Zoom here. So without further ado, I'm going to get started on showing you guys the steps to making Elsa's cake. So basically to just get started on what materials you'll be needing. So today I'm going to use a crochet hook. I'm using this metal tip crochet hook as you can see. And then I'm also using some clear um, clear jelly bands. And that's how it looks like. And of course you'll be needing your Elsa here. Your Sum Sum Elsa charm. And if you haven't already be sure to make this. To get started on showing you guys how to make um, her cape. So, thought I'd go tell you guys that. So anyways, let's get started on this tutorial. So, I'm going to take my zoom zoom here. And I'm just going to kind of want to zoom in so you guys can see what I'm doing. And now, I'm just going to look at my zoom zoom. So, as you can see, I am kind of want to move her hair and turn her to the side. And picture where you want her cape to be at. So I'm just going to put it into these random stitches here. So see, so it should look something like this. So you're not reaching into the hair or anything. I'm just going to re inserting my hook into this area here. And now I'm taking a single clear band, a clear jelly band. And then I'm just going to slide that onto my hook. And then I want to reclaim the other end. So it should look something like this. And then I'm going to take this end and pull it through this end. So take it. And then pull it through this end. And I kind of want to pull on it somewhat a little bit so that it looks something like this. And now I'm going to insert, slide it over a bit and insert my hook into that same stitch here. Where that clear band was at before. And take another clear band and you're going to slide it through that same stitch. And then you're going to want to reclaim. So you should see there's three loops now. And then you're going to take this first end and you're going to slide it through these outer two bands. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to just try to fix things up a bit. So now it looks something like this. So it is kind of hard to crochet with jelly bands. I absolutely know. So you can just try to fix it somewhat and try your best. So now after doing that, you basically did an increase in this stitch here. And now what you want to do is insert your hook into this area here. So I'm going to insert into these little three loops. You can basically insert anywhere, just not try not to insert into where the head, the hair piece and all that is at. Then I'm going to take another clear band and slide it through these three loops. And then I want to reclaim. So you should see three loops. Take the first end and slide it through that other end. And you can kind of untwist your bands a bit if you'd like. Just to make it and give it a neater look. So it should look something like this. Now you're going to insert into the next area. So I'm probably going to insert into these three loops here. And then take a clear band and slide it through those loops. And then you want to reclaim, take these two loops and just remove it off your hook and place it onto that band. So it looks something like this. I'm going to go ahead and do that once more. So insert into my final area where it's at. It doesn't matter if you grab one or two bands or three, but it doesn't matter really. So I'm taking a single clear band and sliding it through those loops. Reclaim and take these two ends here. And just push it off your hook so that it looks something like this. And you have one loop on your hook. So now you're going to turn your hook and I mean turn your piece to see how it was like this before. You want to try to picture how your zoom zoom is going to look like. So I'm just going to take a look at it. And so far it's going to look like this. See? So basically for this Elsa, I did it something like this. So it doesn't, so anyways, now I'm going to turn my piece like this. 
so that there's like little V's here. And I'm going to insert into this stitch here. So you want to make sure you have two loops here. And you have one loop here. So you're going to take a single clear band now. So I'm going to take a single clear band. And what I'm going to do is take it and slide it through this loop. And then I want to reclaim. So it looks something like this. Take the first loop and just slide it through that loop. And you can kind of reclaim. So I'm going to try to focus so you can see. So it looks something like this. And I'm going to insert into this stitch here. And take a single clear band and slide that through. And then I kind of want to reclaim. Take this band and slide it through these two loops here. And reclaim. So now it should see it's coming together pretty much. So I'm going to go ahead and do that again. So insert into my next stitch here. Take a single clear jelly band. Slide it through. And then I want to reclaim. Take the first end and slide it through that. So it looks something like this. Insert into the next stitch, which is, should be your final stitch. Take a single clear band and slide that through. And then you want to reclaim, so it looks something like this. And then just slide it through. So now it should look something like this. Pretty much it's forming a basic structure and shape. And later you can just try to stretch out the bands and maybe try to fix it. So now you're going to turn your work so that it's facing forward. And now I'm going to insert my hook into this area here. And I'm going to do like somewhat around another row. So I'm going to take a single clear band and pull it through. Take the first loop and slide it through these two loops and reclaim. Oh, wait, actually, there are mine. Sorry about that. So I'm going to keep this and I'm actually going to remove that clear band. So it should look something like this. And what I'm going to do is insert my hook. Instead of inserting it this way, I want to insert it backwards. So it looks something like this. Take a single clear band, and you can just stretch that through, even though that band just flew. So I'm going to insert my hook into here. Take Carefully take this clear band, pull it through. So I'm going to try to find a way to pull this clear band through. So basically, after you pull it through, you want to reclaim so it should look something like this. Take the first end and then just slide that through so it looks something like this. Now what you're going to do is an insert to your next stitch, but instead of bringing it forward, you want to bring it backwards. So like this. And what you're going to do is take a clear band, slide it through. And then you want to basically reclaim. Try to untwist your band like I had said. So reclaim, take this band and pull it through these two. Which I'm going to go ahead and do that. So take this first end, pull that through. So you should see her cape is pretty much forming. Now insert into the next stitch and repeat. So pull that through. Reclaim and slide it through those two loops. Insert now you can see here it's kind of a tiny stitch here now. So you kind of want to carefully somehow reach into these two loops here. So this is the stitch here which is your last stitch. Take a single clear band and you're going to stretch that through and reclaim. So it looks like this. Take the first end and slide it through the other end. So now it should look something like this. And so basically, and let's see how many rows I did in here. So I did one, two, three, four. So I did four rows in this Elsa, the one I just showed. So I'm going to do one more row. In this one, so I'm going to turn my work now, my Elsa around, and insert into this stitch, take a single clear band, slide that through that chain, and you want to reclaim. 
take this end and you can just slide it through now you do not have to insert the other way whatever certain way just for this row it's perfectly fine so now you can insert forward now so i'm going to go ahead take a single band slide that through and then i want to reclaim that end and now i'm just going to go ahead and slide that through insert into the next stitch take a single clear band and then just reclaim and then slide that through. And now I'm gonna insert into my last stitch here. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to basically close this Elsa cape off. So insert into your last stitch here, that's the tiny stitch. Now, take a single clear band. I'm gonna kinda zoom out so maybe you can see a little bit more. So, whoa, that's kinda blurry. Sorry about that. So anyways, I'm gonna take a single clear band and slide it through these two loops here, the little tiny loops. And now what I wanna do is slide this loop here onto my band and you wanna reclaim. And then you wanna take this end and just slide it off, basically making a slip knot and you can pull tightly on that. And now all this is how her cape looks like. So now what you wanna do, you can kinda of stretch it out a bit and just make sure your slip knot's tightly secured. And now you're gonna go ahead and hide your slip knot somehow. So I'm gonna just insert into these random stitches here. Take the slip knot and just slide that through. And then it should look something like this. So this is how your Elsa cape looks like. Hope you guys enjoyed this video on showing you guys how to make your Elsa Tsum Tsum and your Elsa cape. So really hope you guys enjoy these super cute Tsum Tsums. I give all credits to all things Disney. And by the way, I thought I'd show you guys a little sneak peek. So basically, I've shown you guys how to make all these pretty much. And all things Disney has shown you guys how to make Olaf and Stitch. And basically, he came up with all these ideas, and I created these ones here. Donald Duck, Elsa, Dumbo... Weenie the Pooh, Heffalump, and of course Heffalump and Dumbo are on the same video. And then I also created Pluto and Mickey Mouse, and Donald Duck, well I already said that, and also Baymax. And all things Disney, like I had said, created these two. So, and I also created all things Disney's cape. But anyway, I mean all things Disney's cape. I mean Elsa's cape. I will be creating hopefully more soon. And I thought I'd show you one sneak peek. So basically, since I've been creating these, I've created two more characters. And hopefully, I will be able to share you guys a tutorial on these. I've been super busy busy with school lately. So hopefully, I can. And maybe I'll show you another character also. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys these characters. So basically, the first character I have is Marie. This is how she looks like. She's super cute and adorable. I think so. And this is how she looks like from the side view and then the front. So there's that character. The next character that I have is Daisy Duck. This is how she looks like. Super cute and beautifully paired up with Donald Duck, don't you guys think so? I think they are such a perfect couple. So let's check out this last character that I have to show you guys. So um, I've been trying to figure out such great ways to make this character super much. I've tried my hardest and there's still more coming soon for this. And I thought I'd show you guys how she looks like. So just a little hint, it is a she. So this is how she looks like. I finally discovered a way to make Minnie Mouse. This is how the adorable little Minnie Mouse Tsum Tsum came out. She is super cute and this is how the side view looks like and from the back. I think she is absolutely adorable. And she most definitely goes well with the adorable cute Mickey Mouse. And as you can see here. So this is all my Tsum Tsum collection. And hopefully I can be sharing you guys some tutorials of 
more of these Tsum Tsums coming soon. And I know we're missing Donald Duck, of course. Gotta definitely add Donald Duck, Chip and Dale, many more characters to come. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more great videos like this. And by the way, guys, thank you for my 62 subscribers. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys haven't already, be sure to be subscribed to my channel for more great videos like this. Anyways, I guess I'll talk to you guys later. So bye.